Listeners, it's the final day. Oh, I'm sad to see this end. The final day in our real-time cooking challenge, Studio 5 food guests have been pulling together a delicious meal with an odd assortment of ingredients, sort of like the scenario where you pull open the fridge only to wonder what in here goes together. That's when you turn to the internet for inspiration and simply Google your dinner. Becky Lowe is our cook today. She is up for this challenge. So Becky, true confessions. Do you do this at home? Do you Google your I'm ingredients? Not for dinner, but I do when I'm looking up new recipes. So To share yeah, with us. Yeah, I do. So when I you're do, working, so. when you're researching, mm -hmm. Google is a tool. It is, it is. Okay, this is real life, so we mm -hmm. are turning to viewers for our inspiration. Okay. Today we get to pull in, let's see, this is Laurel Schwendeman. I hope I said that right. Laurel, how did I do on that? Laurel? Hey. Did I do okay? Good, Good morning, Brooke. Good how morning, are you doing? Becky. You're talking to Brooke and Becky here in the kitchen. Where are you Skyping from? What? Where are you Skyping from? Oh, I'm Skyping from my kitchen in Sandy. Sandy, Utah, mm -hmm. okay. Laurel, Becky's listening with open ears and she has her phone nearby. We're going to plug in whatever ingredients you have. So open up that pretty shiny fridge behind you and tell us what we can use for dinner. Okay, um, the ingredients that I chose were, um, I have pesto. Pesto. Okay. Sun-dried tomatoes. Tomatoes. I also have crescent rolls and macadamia nut and cauliflower rice. Whoa, cauliflower oh. rice. Cauliflower rice, macadamia nuts, and crescent rolls. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this you, is gonna be interesting. You just threw <laughs> Becky a curveball. Type those in, Becky. What 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 threw you off with that list of ingredients? Uh, well, you know what the um, um, Cauliflower rice kind of hits. Yeah. Macadamia nuts, that sounds kind of Hawaiian. Sort of, um, yeah. Yeah, All right. I love macadamia nuts. While Becky's thinking, Laurel, tell us who you're feeding around your dinner table. Tell us about your family. Um, you know what? We have a plethora of, of challenges. We have one who's um, celiac, one that's gluten-free, um, and one that doesn't like meat. And so our challenge <laughs> is kind of hard <laughs> and stuff. So we try to adapt, but we can't please everybody and you can't make it for everybody. You know what, though? So. I, love, I mean, Becky does have a challenge in front of her, but I love that you're bringing that challenge to the table because so many families, I think, can relate to you with those food limitations, food allergies, pickiness, doesn't like meat, for example. All right, Becky, you said Hawaiian. You were feeling okay. kind of a Hawaiian vibe. Hawaiian, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're going to have well, to think we about just that. We just got back on Monday, so that's probably oh, why I'm thinking. Oh, all right. What did you say? <laughs> you just got back from Hawaii on Monday? Yeah. Oh, all right. It's well, like his net. It's meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. Macadamia nuts. I love them. Did you bring extra back? Um, I did. Do you want one? <laughs> you sure. Might, hold on, Laurel. Wait and see how you like her dinner, and then you can decide who you gift the macadamia nuts to. I'm just okay. kidding. We love everything <laughs> Becky makes. Okay, Laurel, you stand by. Listen in. Becky's got phone in hand. Let's take a look at your phone, okay. your, your search results. Did anything jump up that piqued um, your interest? You know, I've actually got a couple here that I'm thinking, um, and some. I like to look at visuals, and so here's some... Um, Cauliflower rice. Okay, mm, okay. Okay. I was actually surprised to see there were a couple of recipes that popped right up involving oh. macadamia nut and pesto. Me too. That surprised <laughs> me. Too. Sometimes these combinations are kind of random, but there it is. All right. Um, I'm going to think about this okay. for just a minute. All right. Hit the fridge, Becky. See what you have to work with. Before okay. you do, sorry, sorry. Before you do, we allowed you some rescue ingredients. Uh, Tell us what you brought. Well, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to use them because they're kind of along the Italian theme. Okay. I have some basil. I have um, uh, minced garlic, bottled garlic, so it's easy. Uh -huh. And um, avocado. So All right. <laughs> we'll Laurel, see we're happens. cheering her on, right? Yep. All right, okay. stand by Laurel. Becky, get Let's to work. Thank you so much. Becky has her rescue ingredients. Yes, she may or may not be able to use those depending on the recipe she lands on. We also should point out our friends at Harmon's have stacked a basic pantry shelf behind us. Just bottom line basics. So spices, flour, a few veggies, a few canned items, things you would naturally have in your pantry. So this dinner challenge is underway. We'll be checking in with Becky throughout the hour to see how this Google Your Dinner dish progresses. We have turned to the inter internet search bar for inspiration on what to do with random dinner ingredients. Studio 5 cooking contributor Becky Lowe is taking this cooking challenge. So Becky, remind us, what ingredients are you working with? Okay, let's start off with the um, uh, cauliflower rice. Okay. Also doing some uh, pesto and some sun-dried tomatoes. 
and um, also some macadamia nuts and uh, crescent rolls. And I think I've got all the list. I'll have to check. Yeah, you know, I think so, you hit everything. So what recipe did you land on? Well, I'm going to uh, make a dish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it right now. <laughs> okay. You may have to name it later. <laughs> I'm good at names. Uh, I can do that. But it is the um, uh, cauliflower rice. Okay. And I admit, I have not worked with cauliflower rice before. So. Oh. I Googled it. There you go. So that's <laughs> you know, where the search came um, into play. I, yeah, and I love cauliflower. Okay, so a really quick tip with it is that all I did was cut off the outside mm -hmm. and the, the uh, core mm -hmm. and put it with a little bit of oil. I'm browning it in a pan, and you don't want to mush it. In fact, this is just a tip anyway, that when you're you're turning it, turn it over, and so you're going to get, get, get that brown without actually mushing it. Oh, nice. Okay. So, I think you're All right. like it. You're on your way, Becky. It's sure smelling okay. great. So we'll Thank be you. thinking of a name once we see the finished plate. Okay. Maybe like Becky's Google dinner dish. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> thinking on my feet here. Becky, thanks we'll so much. I'm working on this recipe, and actually, it's probably not one that I would do from dinner, but I Googled it because it's her ingredients, and I think, I think you're going to really love it. We have the cauliflower. I made the cauliflower rice and actually Googled it to find out how to do it. I'm chopping up some macadamia nuts that I'm going to put with it. Uh, we're going, we put the uh, sun-dried tomatoes into our cauliflower, a uh, little salt and pepper, and also garlic. We put the garlic into it too. So I did use my rescue ingredients with it. And then we have the pesto still to add. We have a, a plate, we're gonna pull, plate it, and um, I think this is really gonna be good. Okay, so this is something I'm gonna add to my own recipe box. Nice. Nice, Becky, thank you so much. I think it's gonna be good as well and inspirational for the rest of us. Me personally, trying to cook a little more creatively in the kitchen. So we'll check back with Becky here in just a few minutes for the finished plate. We'll taste and tell, stand by for that. Hey, it is the moment of truth. Becky Lowe has taken our real-time cooking challenge and dinner is on the table in under an hour. I don't know why I get so excited. At the end of the week, I'm still so excited to see this. A little cheese <laughs> going on top. We should mention we Skyped with Studio 5 viewer Laurel earlier mm -hmm. in the hour. She literally opened up her fridge and showed you her offering, which was cauliflower. Uh, cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Uh, macadamia nuts. Uh, pesto. Um, uh, sun-dried tomatoes yes and some crescent rolls and, and you made what okay I made <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on a name for it Laurel what would you call it <laughs> Laurel we'll let you name it <laughs> let me show you what I have done though I put the cheese on because cheese and cauliflower go very well together yeah and I actually used my food processor with that but just a box grater works very well for for making that okay so that came together very well and actually I like the taste of those sun-dried tomatoes in the uh, cauliflower kind of so spice it up a little one. bit uh-huh then we got the cheese on there. I did add uh, some uh, pork chops to this. Okay, a little and, protein. Mm -hmm, little protein. I'm pulling out my fork. And okay, we'll put some of that right across our our um, pork chops. Pesto and you just becomes season. your garnish, your topping there. Yes, but you know, pesto is so great. It's not only a pretty garnish, but you dig a little bit of that into your fork and, and onto your fork with the rest of it, and it's great. May I? Yeah, absolutely. So you, you, you confessed you'd never made cauliflower rice before. How easy was that to pull up? Oh my goodness, it was so easy. Yeah. So one, the Google, and it's just me. You know, I, I'd rather just cook the rice and, and go from there. It's so you like good. it? Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what we didn't put on there? Some macadamia nuts. But I have to confess, hmm. we pull, put a few on there, but frankly, I'd rather just eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get real. Just pop those nuts as a snack. This is really good. Mm. And really then you good. always want to aim for a balanced diet. So add your fruit to it. You have your vegetable, uh, your grain, some milk. You're good to go. Becky, that's a beautiful plate. Under an hour. Is this fun for you? Yes, it was. This has been Enjoy so fun it. for us. If you're just tuning in today, you've missed four episodes of Google Your Dinner. Worth going back to the Studio 5 website to see what our clever and creative chefs pulled off within the hour. So fun to have the Studio 5 viewers playing along as well. So I'm definitely inspired to be a little more creative in the kitchen. We hope you are too. And these recipes aren't really recipes. They kind of came together, but you can follow along on our website. They're all posted there on the recipe tab. Thanks, Becky. Super fun.